So basically, I want to know. I'm getting everyone's opinion on Ed Matthews Tiki Toki. Oh. <laughs> 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 he's an idiot. <laughs> yeah. If you saw him in real life, would it be like a drop game thing? No, no, no. Or... <laughs> a few moments later. I'm actually a good guy, but give me your number. I'll we'll take my number and find out, babe. Alright. <laughs> The way her energy changed when she actually sees him face to face. He's a pretty well known TikToker in the UK. He's always trolling girls and TikTok lies and things like that. She's acting like he's a massive scumbag and then she sees him and she's giving her a number out, bruv. But I really don't understand how a single mom with a one income household is supposed to survive right now. I don't understand why all these average men are out here single when they could be coupled up helping you pay the bills. But they weren't good enough, were they? <laughs> I bet they are now. <laughs> Never in a million years I imagine myself being single in my 40s. Never in a million years I imagine what's gonna be so hard to find some. Two hours later. Oh, I think I accepted. Ah, uh, you figured it out. Yeah, I saw you down there. I just saw your TikTok. Which one? The one saying that you're 40 years old and it's hard to get some dick. What did he say? <laughs> when you agree. Oh, pass. I mean, I'm not 40 years old and I don't like I'm not so I talking about know. the age. I'm talking about how hard it is this day. What part's hard though? Finding a good man to or for someone. you to get it? No, no, no. It's easy for me to get it, trust me. A decent one though. That's because you're a woman. Of course it's easy. No, it's not. It's not. I mean, well, yeah, I know what you're saying. You wouldn't say, you wouldn't agree that it's easier for a woman to, to have sex with, with a man than it is for a man to have sex with a woman? Yeah, I do agree. Men used to go to war, now they bomb at clubs like that. Girls used to get scared of their news getting leaked. Now they sell it for four ninety nine. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. If a man is not interested in these so called average women, why do they leave, impregnate them? Over here, I deal strictly with facts, data, and statistics above uh, above anything else. That's okay? correct. Okay. Well, let's first start off with with the fact that fifty four percent of black men are single and childless. Thirty percent of black men are married. And the children that come out of that marriage are, are exempted from your statement. That so is just correct. Go, so that gives us 54 and 30. That's 84. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. means a full 80% of the children being made in the black community are being made by less than 20% of the men. So to answer your question is why are women having children with men with multiple children who aren't married? And then women like you asking, why are the women picking them? You got me there, Kevin. You got Goddamn me right, I did. Hey, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. And actually, you know what? Shout out to this woman, because she weren't like a lot of the other women I've seen go on his stream. Acting aggressive or emotional and not accepting the facts. I feel like this woman actually just went there to learn something. And this is the thing with a lot of these podcasts you see when people are arguing and shit. People don't listen. They just get emotional. We've done red flags, but what are potential green flags for you? When she's so in love with me, she believes my lies over her friends. <laughs> It's an evil world we live in. Someone sends you a message that says, what you're up to. You say, why? Miss me? Then you follow with another message before you freak out. That's so arrogant, I would never say that. You immediately follow up and you say, just kidding. I'm with my sister right now. We're having such a good time. What are you up to? But the work has already been done. You've already had that moment of being self-assured, being extra confident, and also putting in their mind the idea that they miss. I mean, I like the first part of the advice, and if she's saying what are you up to, it means you kind of know her a little bit, right? So if you say that back in that jokey way, why'd you miss me? I don't think you need to say afterwards, oh no, I was only joking. It kind of ruins a joke a little bit, in my opinion. This girl got my Facebook timeline in an uproar because she posted a status that said, most men are emotionally attracted to other men just 
physically attracted to women. And I want to get into it because she ain't told a lie yet. And most men are unable to process this statement because they're focusing on how she's saying it instead of what she's actually trying to say. What? If you think about it, men spend the majority of their free time with other men. They go to the gym together. They play the video games together. They argue in the group chat about sports together. They talk on FaceTime together. They plan group trips together. They smoke together. All of this free time and bonding that they choose to do with other men, where there's tons of women that I'm sure they're attracted to that can't get five minutes of their quality time you've literally just defined what a friendship is you map it i'm getting the vibe that she's the type of woman that when a guy rejects her she just calls him gay i mean let me know if i'm missing something but it just sounds like she's explaining what a friendship is what do you like about being married and they served me with the papers i like that but Jesus didn't say he wanted me out so we were uh, that's acceptable. She answered the first part correct, but she failed the second part for that reason. She belongs to the streets. 